What is up my back to life family? I am here in Lviv in Ukraine and I'm excited to show you this beautiful city. It's full of history. It's full of this rich traditional um, very nice stuff. It's full of history. It's full of this traditional beautiful um, architecture and I'm actually at a place right now called the Memorial of the Heavenly Hundred Heroes. Um, so Memorial Piat um, so this was a place where a lot of people sacrificed their lives right here um, it talks about it's a place to remember events here and a place to reflect on what we were fighting for um, and what everybody went through so it's a beautiful place to just be able to come to Ukraine and to showcase how beautiful it is um, as you can see behind me look at this amazing and beautiful building um, and I took a train here from Odessa to Lviv uh, in the last couple of days and that was about a 12 hour train ride and it was beautiful so I'm gonna show you all there's like a huge flag up here there's a few platforms where you can walk out and I'll just give you all an idea of what it looks like through here but you can kind of see how all the buildings and all the architecture come up across the top of the city it's absolutely beautiful I mean goodness gracious I shouldn't have ran up those stairs but I did now I gotta live with that decision but this is beautiful. Check out that building and I'll take you over there as well and show y'all uh, what it looks like. And we've had such an awesome time here in Ukraine lately. I mean, just going through this, the motherland, I mean, this being my first time in Ukraine, um, it being my parents, uh, you know, motherland and where they're from and me just being able to experience what they got to experience, what was it, 32 years ago, 33 years ago, they moved to the U.S. in 1989 um, as refugees. So. It's actually cold here was not expecting this so breathing a little bit hard this is a memorial for where a lot of people lost their lives and I'll show you there's some pictures um, and there's a memorial set up over here but there's this little bridge that you can walk over right here and kind of see the whole city um, for well the whole city I say that as if this is the whole city of Lviv this is a huge huge city but I'll show you as I get a little bit closer what this looks like over here I mean it's absolutely beautiful looks unreal I'm gonna raise my GoPro up so you can see that how's it going absolutely beautiful look at that and you can see the Ukrainian flags on top of all the buildings but it is cold it's definitely cold up here y'all i did not know we were getting this close to cold weather did you know we were getting this close to cold Absolutely weather you probably not. love mm -hmm. it Look at gross this. beautiful <laughs> um i don't like cold weather but check out this ukrainian flag right here and i'm going to show you all the other side of this this is the memorial right here um i want y'all to see um there were some pictures there i think it would be really nice for y'all to see that um so rest in peace to everybody who you know sacrificed their life here um for all kinds of reasons you know so as you can see this is where the memorial is set up um, and it's you know it is sad to see things like this but it is still interesting because it's a part of history um, and people you know real people were a part of this they they made this happen um, and it's just a beautiful city as of right now you know we've just gotten here so I'm excited to show you what it looks like here the weather is a bit gloomy I wish it was sunny for every video but it's not but this is perfect because you know every time you go somewhere it's not gonna be sunny and perfect and all those different things so we're gonna keep moving I'm gonna show you this whole city as much as possibly um, or as much as I possibly can and uh, it's a little cold so might get tongue twisted here and there but I gotta get used to it I'll see you soon all right, y'all, so we just walked up a beautiful cobblestone hill, okay? I mean, it's made out of beautiful cobblestones. And we're here at a place called Park Vesoke Zamok. So this is a park to memorialize like a, like a huge palace area. So as you can see, I mean, this is so beautiful. Um, there's people doing landscaping. Um, the buildings up here are amazing. Uh, and it just, it just goes on for, for, you know, kilometers at a time. We're going to go explore things over through here. And we're just going to make sure that you and everybody watching uh, gets to experience what I'm experiencing here in Lviv right now. Which I told you all, it's a very historic place. As soon as I got off the train station here, I could tell by the architecture. Like I've been in, uh, I've been in Kiev, I've been in Odessa. And they all have their own history. But I knew as soon as I got off the train that it was like whoa that is beautiful um and it has so much rich history oh careful a little bit of mud there but 
yes it's just a beautiful place this park looks amazing i want to get around the edge over there show y'all what this place has to offer um, and get a little bit more into town too i want y'all to see how the normal way of life here is because um you know if you're not able to travel if you got kids or you can't afford it or whatever it is i want you to be able to travel with me throughout the world so let's continue going let me cross over these mud piles right now so i don't slip and slide because it's already cold and you don't want to be wet and cold but yeah, I'm gonna show you some more memorials, take you through the park, and we're just gonna have a good time here. So we've climbed a set of stairs. We're continuing to go up, and I'm gonna give you a better view, but I wanted to show you just a beautiful view through these forest trees right here. You can see so much of the city right there. Um, it's just so beautiful in here. You see the leaves are changing color. Um, there's like a huge cell tower or something right there. It goes up at least. 150 yards up in the air maybe not even sure um but we're getting closer to the top where i can show you that in beautiful entire city man i will tell you it is much harder to talk when it's cold outside i gotta get better um so we're climbing 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 doing this beautiful walk um i can't wait to show you you know the it's like a like a cliff area where we're at the top and there's a flag up there and everything like that so let's see how beautiful it gets when we get up there hope you're enjoying this so far we've come from this beautiful sidewalk here and we're almost at the top check this out unreal views right here wow if you ever come to lviv this is an absolute vibe like i told y'all that tower that cell tower right there goes up so high you can tell look how high the city is and look how high that is there's a beautiful flag up here it looks unreal y'all oh my gosh let me get a little bit higher let me keep climbing the mountain. Oh, this looks so dope. Let me pass through some people. How do you feel here, sir? Air is thin. I'm struggling. It is thin. It's cold, it's cold. <laughs> but it's phenomenal. Look at this view. Bro, I've been stuttering so much coming up here. Because uh, I got to get used to talking in the cold. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Let's do a, uh, a 360 here for him. Panoramic view? Yeah, literally. Look at this, and then I'll show you what's at the top. Look how beautiful this flag is. Boom. That is so beautiful, y'all. I'm so glad I was able to come up here, show y'all this view. I mean, unreal. Unreal. Look at this. All right, y'all, we're gonna go explore more of the city and I'm gonna just keep showing you awesome stuff. All right, y'all, so as we're heading into town to show you some awesome buildings and everything, we got lost in the woods, literally. We got like stray dogs everywhere. Um, we're literally, in the woods i guess at another park but it's muddy i got a little puppy with me right here see you um yeah so we're just literally like on a hiking trail at this point and we thought we were headed into town but it turned into a park that turned into like a hiking trail that turned into mud um so hopefully we're into the city soon enough and we shall see here shortly so i'll be back um after this slight intermission <laughs> of walking through the woods in Ukraine, in Lviv. So we're walking into Lviv right now. Um, it's raining, of course, on the day I wanna film this video, but you still gotta get content. Um, beautiful streets and beautiful buildings here. A lot of people going places, work, school, you name it. But it is a very beautiful city. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna get hit by a car. But one thing I have learned here is that if there's a crosswalk, you don't have to wait for lights, you don't have to wait for nothing. The pedestrian has the right of way no matter what like people will slam on their brakes when they see a pedestrian in the street but these buildings are absolutely beautiful a lot of rich history through here um, we're heading into town right now and i'll show you as we get closer what it looks like but um for now we're just passing by all kinds of businesses and different shops like that so um real rainy day uh hope y'all enjoyed the the view that i showed y'all at the beginning but hey when you're trying to get awesome content you just got to go out in the rain it doesn't matter i'm out here risking my health because it's cold when it's raining and it's cold it's tough like my hands feel frozen but we're gonna cross here but yeah look at these buildings y'all and all these streets are made out of like cobblestone it's it's absolutely beautiful um really cool businesses and as we get closer into town
as we get closer into town i will show you what it looks like more in there we made it closer into town check this out absolutely awesome i love seeing stuff like this look at this all these cobblestone roads the entire thing even the train rails are literally inside of all this i mean this is so cool look at that huge clock and the flowers right there i mean it's absolutely phenomenal y'all even though it's raining Lviv has not disappointed look at this wait a minute check this out that's so sick look at that that is so cool yo paul Yo, this picture is so cool. Look at this. I know it's not supposed to be on the wall, but this graffiti is crazy. Whoever drew this did an awesome job. Yo, check this out. Walking through this old area in Viv. Absolutely beautiful. Obviously not a lot of people out in the streets because it's completely raining, but it's so beautiful here. I love these like outdoor seating places. They all have flowers and stuff. Um, it's just a beautiful city to say the least and i don't want to get hit by a car so i need to make sure i see where i'm going i really wish it was nice weather so that y'all could see um how the city just comes out and everybody's out here uh because this looks absolutely phenomenal i mean look at this look at the pictures up there and i keep getting rain on my camera so i do apologize i'm so sorry but it's a really really cool place um I absolutely love it so far. I can't wait to get further into town to keep showing you what it looks like as I'm dodging raindrops. So just ignore my eyes and ignore all that. But uh, yeah, let's just keep going. It's absolutely beautiful, y'all. I love it. Okay, y'all. So I got a little bit closer into town. Look at this amazing looking building. You got this train right here that actually does like um, tours and sightseeing things. Um, but you can just see it's such a beautiful place. Absolutely amazing. Architecture is on point. Hope you guys are enjoying this Lviv tour. Check this out. We just ran across some old Soviet Union vibe. Um, old, old, old. I don't even know what to call it. This is kind of cool though. This is really cool. I mean, look at this motorcycle. Check that out. They got the motorcycle with the carriage. I don't even know what's going on here. This is crazy though. Just randomly found this place. This is kind of cool, but we're gonna keep moving, keep exploring, and uh, just enjoying the day. Sir, how are you enjoying your food? It's cold, it's rainy, but we're enjoying the city tour right now. Um, we're on a train and we're just trying to give you the best views possible. Content, content, content. Explore and leave with me. Okay, y'all, so we've moved on. Um, we went on that trolley tour. That was kind of cool. Got to see the city. Um, couldn't really show it from inside because the windows were really foggy, but we're walking up on this beautiful city area right here. Again, cobblestone roads, beautiful buildings. And we're going to a place called the Pototsky Palace. So, um, Pototsky Palace, and that's actually my mom's maiden name. That's actually his last name. And so, um, it's like the lineage thing, you know? My mom always talks about it, that uh, she's from like a royal family and stuff. So I'm about to finally get to see what this palace looks like. Uh, but you can see the architecture and the sculptures and look at all those little sculptures up there. Just, man, that is absolutely beautiful. Um, really nice city to say the least. You got the flag hanging there in the middle of the street. So we're gonna go check that out. Oh, the BMW. I like that. So we're gonna go check out this Potatsky Palace and see what that's like. And we're just gonna keep enjoying this day, but it is really cold. How cold are you, Paul? Oh, you know, typical weather. Typical weather, because he's from Syracuse, New York. Ugh babies up in new york i can't do the cold weather but i'm in ukraine i guess it's what we should have expected thought it was going to be a little bit warmer but here we go we're walking up on the palace it looks absolutely huge from the road so we had to come back and check it out but this is it let's see if we can get a better picture you got a tesla right there a lot of expensive cars here jaguars teslas bmws just a lot of expensive cars. I'm the pigeon man. 
Look at this. Oh, the door's open. Check this out. Take pictures. Look at this. Unreal, y'all. The Potatsky Palace. <laughs> this is crazy. Potatsky Palace. My mom wasn't lying. That's crazy. Okay, I can't wait to show her this video. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Unreal. So I guess this belongs to me and him. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we're walking around the palace now. That is absolutely beautiful, by the way. Um, we're gonna see what it looks like around here. It's just unreal what they do here. I guess this is limestone right here. Absolutely beautiful workmanship here. I mean, golly bum. They did a great job building this. I mean, you got the outside courtyard right here. You can go around. Just unreal, y'all. Absolutely unreal to be able to see something like this. Phenomenal. Beautiful. Check this out. I mean, the sculptures. It's unreal to see how some people can create such beauty and just put together such an awesome just piece of artwork slash building. Beautiful. Hey, yeah. sir. This is mine. You wish. Potatsky. What are you? Mm -hmm. My mother is mm -hmm. a Potatsky. Uh, that's right. We're both royalty. I just tied my shoe at my palace. How do you feel? I feel like royalty, I guess. Is that your grandpa right there? That's my ancestry line right there. Huge guys. Great grandpa. Holding the Brother in law. <laughs> Great granddad's sister's Dad. husband. Dad on the dad's side. Something like that, you know. Whatever. It is so cold out here, y'all. Like, like cold. Extremely cold. How cold? We were not ready for this. I will say that. Yeah, we're say not wearing nothing, but it's weak, weak, thin Nike elite, not elite jacket. I'm literally freezing. Nike, you know what to do. Sponsor this video, please. So this is the building where they have all their operas. That we got the fountains right here. It's absolutely beautiful area. Um, just absolutely wonderful to be able to see such a beautiful city. Um, check this out. Look how that looks. I mean, it kind of looks like something's coming out of the sky right there over this building. Uh, but this is where they hold their operas and ballets and concerts and things like that. Um, so very beautiful area to say the least. It has been a very cold day here to say the absolute least again right there. I mean. Uh, was not expecting it to be this cold here did not prepare for this at all so if you come here and it is late september or october you better have a jacket some pants some gloves i mean if you want to come out here and see all these beautiful buildings and everything just be ready for it don't come out here and be freezing your butt off the way we are right now uh, it's not worth it but we're gonna see what else we get into and uh just continue enjoying the city because it definitely has a lot to offer a lot of uh, beautiful history a lot of beautiful buildings and just awesome people to be honest everybody's really really nice out here so i've had a great time so far Alrighty, y'all i'm gonna go ahead and end the first video for lviv right now um it was a really exciting day i mean it was cold um but the views were beautiful the buildings were beautiful the people were amazing I had such a great time even though i'm freezing my tail off but right now we're gonna jump in the car um and go do something else so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up if you haven't yet make sure you follow me on instagram and on tiktok at nico tjr and you can also follow me at slavic nico on tiktok as well to see me throughout ukraine if you haven't yet check out shopbacktolife.com grab you some merch and without further ado my back to life family i'll See you in my next video. Peace. Peace. Привет. По украински говориш? Чи по английськи? See ya.